Well, here we are tonight, uh, Wes Wyatt and uh, myself hanging out uh, here in the Storm Warren Yeah, Center. we're here for the long haul. <laughs> we are. We're, yeah. we're tracking uh, winter weather, and uh, right now the big challenge for us, you know, when we do these videos, we like to kind of talk a little bit behind the scenes, what we're expecting, what we're thinking about. Yeah. The, the challenge is getting that freezing line all the way to the Birmingham metro area, and we're hoping that doesn't happen. Right, right. I mean, everything we are looking at is telling us that the freezing line is going to be right along I-20 tomorrow morning as the sun comes up and you know right now notice Birmingham's down to 34 degrees uh, we're close we're very close but a lot of times when you get mm -hmm. these events uh, you get rain it sits at 33 the temperature sits at 33 and doesn't change yeah well I, yeah. I, we, we've, we've both been in a situation we've, we've watched that a lot it's too early to call and say you know don't worry about it it's not going to be uh, a, a big ice storm or anything like that so we're kind of in a wait and see mode. The models at this point in time are practically useless. These things have been garbage anyway the last <laughs> several days because every yeah. run we would come up with something else. So let's yeah. talk a little bit about what we do know. Uh, Coleman right now, our Fox 6 Sky Vision camera, Coleman Savings Bank. We've been watching the roads. Coleman has been below freezing. They're at 29 degrees right now. The roads they look just fine. Yeah, and even at 29 degrees, it's going to take several hours here before we get some significant accumulations that, that, that really start to cause yeah. issues like we had on the 28th. And we're going to be comparing to the 28th, and, and you know the roads are in much better shape right now compared to what we had at the beginning of that event. Our high yesterday was 60 degrees. Today we got up into the uh, lower 40s across much of the area. Coleman did stay a bit uh, colder. Coleman County, Winston County, and uh, also Marion County but still that soil temperature the ground temperatures in the 40s Hamilton yeah. has been hit with some uh, wintry weather as well it's kind of slacked up there temperatures still in the upper 20s but uh, that's the view in downtown Ham Hamilton and I'm really not seeing any problems there it's quiet tonight folks really yeah. not driving about but the precipitation has essentially stopped there in Marion County at least for now yeah it's tough to see in that camera view there I mean we could it's in the upper 20s right now I mean we're under a winter storm warning we could certainly have some travel slick spots on those elevated surfaces, bridges, yeah. and overpasses here. So going up tall hills, high terrain, if you can just avoid being on the roads this morning, I mean, we're not saying those roads there along 278 won't ice up. It's just going to take a little while yeah. longer, but it could, as long as you're below freezing, it's eventually going to happen. And, and this yeah. radar view, what's interesting about this, it looks like you have a lot of rain out there, a lot of returns. Uh, we walked out the back door here at the TV station just to see what was going on, and a lot of this is is coming down really as just some light drizzle. It's it's not that impressive really when you walk is. out the door. The temperatures largely above freezing. 36 now Tuscaloosa. I really don't think you'll see too many issues there in Tuscaloosa County. If you do, it's going to be the northern portion of the county. Uh, 34 Birmingham, 37 in Anniston. We expect the temperatures maybe to drop another degree, but I still I'm starting to feel fairly confident that just north of I-20 is going to be kind of the sweet spot where we see uh, that freezing line. Even then. Then, is it going to be enough to cause widespread road issues? I'd say elevated surfaces and uh, bridges, overpasses, you said some of the hilly terrain could be the problem. We've got color coded in pink there where we are getting some of that mixed precipitation and largely it's been either sleet or snow flurries that we've been uh, hearing about from some of our uh, weather watchers and just viewers that have been uh, sending reports in. Yeah, and we're getting some reports of ice on steps and ice on car tops. And, you know, when you're talking about ice, it's not like snow. You, you can't see it. So when you step outside, certainly be extra careful if you're just even going to peek outside to see what the weather's doing. Now, uh, with a little bit of ice, the wind's blowing out of the north. And if you start to get some of that glazing on the tree branches, I think there's a greater chance if we see the accumulations, a greater chance of that happening on rooftops, car tops, and, and on trees limbs and things like that. Yeah, it's going to take a while for the roads. Maybe a little bit of that sleet collecting in the grassy areas. In fact, uh, someone just a little while ago reported to me some sleet falling in Clay County. You go up to uh, so many thousand feet off the ground and it is so cold that we're getting some of that sleet even south of us yeah. that's reaching the ground that's very scattered. Yeah, just to report in here, uh, uh, sleet falling between Asheville and Steele, which makes sense. Uh, some of those brighter returns on radar, we can see that over there on Viper. Uh, some of those brighter echoes and that temperature is going to be coming in at around 34 35 degrees by the way that was the winter storm um, winter storm warning that's in effect Hoover right now 34 degrees that background
background picture, of course, is Jasper right now. They're at 32 degrees. Winds currently at about 3 miles per hour. Uh, a question we've been getting a little bit in the weather office today is how come this is just not snow or it's just not rain? It's all about the thermodynamic profiles, the temperature profile. If, if that uh, profile is below freezing from the ground all the way up to the cloud, it's going to be snow. But if you have that warm layer there where the snow may melt and then it may turn to rain, and then the, the surface temperatures are freezing, you end up with freezing rain. And if you have a little layer there where it actually melts, then refreezes, that would be sleet before it reaches the ground. So it's just the depth of that cold air that we're looking at when we're trying to figure out those precipitation types. And we've got really all modes of winter weather with this particular setup. Let's talk a little bit about the forecast model here. Yeah, uh, and one thing I noticed here with this model, when I was showing this last night, it showed a low of 29 degrees tomorrow morning. This thing has been all over the place. This is one of many models. You know, basically, as you mentioned, it is wait and see on that southern extent. Now, could the uh, the the, the freezing rain reached Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston, certainly, but the duration may not be quite as long. There, You mentioned the, the sweet spot, as we call it. You know, right there around Jasper, just to the north of Jasper, over towards Aniana, I still feel confident there's going to be some location in there that, have some, that has a significant accumulation of ice on things like tree limbs and on car tops and things like that. Uh, you know, we've got rain ongoing there, and those temperatures are right there flirting with yeah. the uh, freezing point. It may not be significant icing in Birmingham, and hey, we're going to see we're already getting reports of sleet in Pinson, Palmerdale areas. We're going to get some winter weather far south, but look at that temperature. 37 degrees by 930. This particular model only took us down to 33 in Birmingham, kept the counties to the north uh, below freezing. Uh, looking at some of the other models, we, we take a glance at on the other computers in here, and they really keep that freezing line up to the north. Let's talk about the weather, weather warning here. Best chance of icy roads from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, elevated ro roadways, hilly terrain, worst roads north of I-20 corridor, and a little bit about our extended forecast here before we run out of of time. 90% chance of precipitation in some form tomorrow. Could see round two tomorrow night in the form of some snowfall that may not get out of here until Wednesday and that would set up I think east of Interstate 65 uh, as we head into Wednesday and that eventually making its way on into Georgia. Fortunately weekend forecast looking great. Mm -hmm. Mercedes Marathon coming up yeah, this bring, weekend. Bring that weekend forecast. And it's not even going to be cold so yeah. <laughs> a high of 60 degrees on Sunday. So we're watching the weather. Uh, yeah. Wes and I are going to be here all night long kind of seeing how things develop. Not too bad out there right now. We'll update you again before too long. Here at the Fox 6 Storm Warren Center Chief Meteorologist J.P. Dice. Wes Wyatt. We'll see you later.